learn a lot of new math today, including proof by induction. It's proof by induction. So, there's a very nice proof by induction problem. Let Fn be the nth term of the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, so, uh, what I want to prove is that F1 squared plus F2 squared, etc., plus Fn squared is equal to Fn times Fn plus 1. So first we have the base case where n equals 3. So F1 squared plus F2 squared plus F3 squared equals F3 times F4. So that's 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared equals 2 times 3. So 1 plus 1 plus 2, well 1 plus 1 plus 4 equals 6. So 6 equals 6. So we verified it for the base case by induction. So now, so now what do we know about this? Well, and let's assume this is true. Then let's prove that it's true for n plus 1. So if we plug in f1 squared plus f2 squared, etc. to fn plus 1 squared is equal to fn plus 1 times fn plus 2. What does that give me? Well, this is f1 squared plus f2 squared, etc. plus fn plus 1 squared is equal to fn plus 1 times fn plus 1 plus fn, because that's by definition the Fibonacci sequence. So that gives me f1 squared plus f2 squared plus uh, dot 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 plus fn plus 1 squared is equal to fn plus 1 squared plus fn plus 1 fn. And now, if we cancel out these on both sides, we have now simplified our, uh, the thing we were thinking, uh, seeking to prove into a statement that we have already assumed was true. So that means that if it works for n, it works for n plus 1. So if it works for 3, it works for 2. If it works for 3, it works for 4, 5, 6, and so on. So we can prove that this is true for every value of n Do uh, this example. So let's write the Fibonacci sequence out. So um, let's uh, prove that f1 squared plus f2 squared plus f3 squared plus f4 squared, plus f5 squared, plus f6 squared, equals f6 times f7. So it's 1 plus 1, plus 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25, 8 squared is 64, 13 squared is 169, is equal to 13, wait, no, I think I skipped something. Oops. 1 plus 1 plus 4, plus 9, plus 25, plus 64, is equal to 8 times 13, which I'm pretty sure is equal to 104. So then, what do we have? We have 2 plus 13 plus 89 equals 104. So 15 plus 89 is 104. So 104 equals 104. So we proved it. Thank you.